hey guys so this is regarding the rogue xg mobile and how terribly designed it was by asus and uh, i managed to get mine stuck and then i had to send it to a service center so if you manage to disengage if you manage to disengage this yourself that's great but uh, it's best if you don't try to disengage it yourself because you have to open the laptop and then disengage it with pins and this is a known issue by asus and they don't do anything about it so uh, once I got this replacement part, I've decided to take matters into my own hands and get rid of these pins. As you can see here, uh, uh, these pins are absolutely destroyed. So I've, I'll be adding some videos uh, you know, in sequence right now to show what I've been doing. It has been totally, completely experimental for me. And luckily this has worked out for me, right? So uh, you, you'll notice that in the next part of the video. And yeah. Uh, there's no need to like subscribe or comment because this video is just for a generic how to do and I, I'm not actually uh, you know, creating a channel as such so anyways uh, all I needed was this nail cutter and I've just used this to get within the within the pins and then pinch and then twist right and you have to, you have to be very careful so that you don't end up damaging any of the other things around it so uh, for now this seems to be working, I'll show you in the later part of the video, but uh, yeah, uh, I'll just show you what I initially done. So, I've been trying to remove it with this nail cutter and I've been having some success. I'll add the next part of the video as I continue removing this. What I managed to do till here is get this much done i know this isn't a great video but then i'm really not sure what i'm doing here but then hopefully by the end of the video i managed to get rid of this altogether uh, so guys this is what i managed to do with this nail cutter press twist and turn and this is one side i'm not sure if it's still working now i'm gonna attack the other one uh, luckily for me this comes within the grasp and i can pinch and Whoa. twist i have to also ensure that it doesn't damage the existing connectors let's see how this goes uh, so after multiple pinching and twisting with the nail cutter which was very a very strong nail cutter i managed to do this let me now test and see if it's working uh, so here we are i've turned the laptop on and i'm not sure if my egpu is going to work after what i've just done with the nail cutter i hope you can see this but hopefully of course uh, you can actually destroy it even further this is all i have done just to check uh, let's just see if this works uh, sorry i need to use both my hands disconnected and pushing the saw, uh, pressing the button. Yeah, that's pushed. Oh, it detected. Let's just try our luck now. <clears throat> oh thank god it worked off <laughs> okay uh, just to confirm on armory crate let's just check yep it's detected here so of course <clears throat> uh, now i'll just proceed with the disconnection procedure uh, <clears throat> right so this is a big risk that i've taken so if you all want to take the risk you all can take the risk but then i feel it's safer than you know us losing the entire connection altogether right if it gets stuck that's much much worse so let's see how this goes Oh, 
Okay, so it's already done. Oh, and it came out without any issues. <coughs> uh, okay, so that's about it, guys. So the tools that I had to use was just this. Hold on to the main part and then start twisting. But be very careful as to not damage these other connectors. <coughs> of course, these buttons are useless now. This is the final result. In case you guys want to see what I've managed to do and still and what's working, this is the final result. So basically at the end of the day, this seems to be working fine, but it's actually shocking as to how badly this has been designed, especially when you consider how well it works, hardware and software, but then the, they managed to mess up the basics. So this is another advice that I'd have to you know, think twice before buying something like this. And hopefully Asus would fix the next iterations.